Welcome to MVK School e-learning. Hello students, this is teacher Raya. I know you are excited to our lesson for today. Now listen and enjoy. Our lesson for today is all about environment. What is environment? It consists of everything we see around us. Look at around you. Can you say what is in your environment? Our Earth is a beautiful planet with a huge variety of animals and plants, but they became extinct. Why? Due to various human activities. That is why we have to know how to conserve our environment. In Thailand, we have environment issues. Thailand faces increasing environmental degradation in many regions, including the loss of biodiversity and declining wildlife populations. Next, deforestation, desertification, water scarcity, air and water pollution, climate change, land clearing and property development this picture showing biodiversity in thailand loss of biodiversity and declining wildlife how disturbance of natural habitats so you can see in this picture High abundance of resources is like fish in the rivers or at the sea and it became low abundance. Next picture, what can you see? You are correct. You can see some of this part, the trees are already cut. So we call it as deforestation. People cut trees and build infrastructures. In this picture, we can see a lot of garbage waste along the seashores, damage of coral reefs, many plastic waste. People throw their garbage waste. See? Oh no, this picture is a disaster. What happened? Correct. It's a forest fire. Why there's a forest fire? People burn the forest. How about this picture? What can you say? We cannot see the picture is clear. We cannot see how clear the environment. So what is the problem? Air pollution. The gases that coming from the car and truck exhaust, factories, 
dust, pollen, mold spores, volcanoes, and wildfires. That is why the air is not okay. I hope you learned many things from the first lesson. Now, let's do the challenge. So you're going to answer number one until number five. Check it out. Are you ready? Here you go. What environmental issues are stated to the following? Circle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, people cut trees and build infrastructure. Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct, deforestation. Number two, disturbance of natural habitats. You are right, it's letter A, loss of biodiversity. Number three, people burn the forest. Correct, forest fire, letter C. How about number four? People throw their garbage waste. All right, that is letter D, many plastic waste. Number five, the gases from cars and truck exhaust factories and wildfires. Perfect air pollution. Again to the next lesson. What can you see in this picture? That's right. There are many buildings and many people as well as vehicles. So we are in the urban areas. In urban areas, there are issues in the urban environment. We have air pollution from vehicle emissions, water and air pollution from industrial waste, waste accumulation in form of garbage and particularly plastics. So you can see students, the picture in here, that is a correct air pollution. How about this picture? It creates what? Okay, smoke from its exhaust. So it creates also air pollution. Even those person who are smoking as well as the forest fire. How about water pollution? Or anyways, accumulation. So here are the water pollution which is created from the factories and we have also garbage waste from the ocean. Take a look at this picture. Is it beautiful, right? You can see houses, many plants and flowers. So we are in the rural areas. We have also issues in rural environments. These are deforestation and removal of trees, soil erosion caused by drought followed by 
rapid runoff from the rain. Overuse of pesticide in agriculture. Wildlife depletion caused by illegal hunting. So you can see water from the forest and people who cut trees will cause soil erosion. So deforestation cause soil erosion. What else? So you can see people overuse pesticide. So the pesticide they use from their plants will flow to the river and it will affect the fishes and other water animals. What else? We have also illegal hunting which cause wildlife depletion. Hope you learn a lot about urban areas and rural areas. Please take your answer if it's true or false. Here you go. Number one, in urban areas, there are many vehicles, people, and buildings. Is it true or false? Correct, it is true. Number two, the one issue in rural areas is deforestation. That's right, it is true. Number three, the most problem issue in urban areas is soil erosion. Correct, it is false. Number four, when you go to the rural areas, the environment has few people and homes and they live in an agricultural land. Is it true or false? You're correct, it is true. Last one, number five. The one issue in urban environment is wildlife depletion. Correct, it is false. Let's go again to another lesson. We learn many issues in the environment. How do we solve them? So there are solutions to the problem, right? That's good. Let's go and see to it. As you can see, we reduce, reuse, recycle. For you learners, don't forget to apply this at home. You can reduce the raw materials that you used already, so you can recycle it. So how do we apply this? Public awareness about the importance to recycle. Reduce demand for raw products. So as you can see, Public awareness about the importance to reduce. Use less material. What else? Finding ways to create less waste. Avoid use of plastic bags and foam products. Reduce use of paper when possible. Reuse materials if possible. That is why at present, every time you go to the market or supermarket, you have to use the bags or what we call eco bags because we are trying to reduce waste 
for the help in our environment. Hope you listen to our discussion for today. How can you protect environment? So in this activity, you have to draw in your own journal or notebook any picture or you can find one picture and paste it. See you again on the next lesson. Study well, learn at home, and be safe. Goodbye. Thank you.